today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy uh, waterfall. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my words as usual. Anyway, because a friend of mine recently made a mini album after she had seen mine and I haven't made one for a while so I really think I should make one and do a tutorial on it. But this is going to be a short one. So I, when I first started doing my mini albums I always struggled a bit with my waterfalls in getting them straight so I'm going to show you a very easy way to do that because it's not that easy to line them up so I've got my cardstock and all I'm going to do is cut it up which of course I've already done because that is the boring part and I've kept these pieces so these ones I have made them four and a half by well, the finished product is going to be four and a half by four and a half inches. So I've cut them four and a half by five in order to give that half an inch flap for the um, waterfall. We're going to score it. Obviously, I, I normally score both sides, just what I do. And we are going to do three or four. I don't think I need to go to great to make a lot more than that, you know, to show you an easy way to line up your waterfalls. So let's just flaps for two for um, mini albums are usually always half an inch. You don't really need more than that. It's quite sufficient. And of course you can use these in um, journals because I've used them in journals before as well. Right, I have my corner chomper. So I can actually put that aside now. So before you do any gluing, and I've already got a mark on that but it doesn't matter. Um, before you do any gluing, do your corners if you want to round them. I like my waterfall corners to be rounded. So I'm just gonna, and you have to do that before you stick everything together. By the way, this is a great We Are Memory Keepers. I'm selling their product for them now. Uh, corner choppers because apart from getting the various sizes it just lasts because I have bought others I'm going to show them to you and they just you know after a while I bought these and I just find that they're lousy <laughs> they after a while they just stop w working or this stupid thing gets stuck so this one if if you're looking to buy one is a great and a great one and I got this from shop and scrap online so now I am just going to do like so. Got to work it, people. Work it nicely. So let's just do that. You're going to be surprised how easy it is. Because you know what, even though you score it on a straight line, you don't always fold it straight and that's where the problem can come in. <laughs> Let's hope I can do it nicely on the tutorial. And then of course I always do both sides. So there's my waterfall, or my flaps for my waterfall, four and a half by four and a half, because that will fit nicely in a journal. Of course, you can do them any size you want. Now, the gluing part. Well, let's get my glue out. My tatty glue cloth. Let's just make sure everything is flowing. Yep. Okay, almost. Yeah, that'll do. So now, I've got a leftover piece of um, cardstock from when I, I cut these out. And you're going to use that piece because it's the right width. And this is all you are going to do. Glue it. Like so. We all know how to glue. 
<laughs> and just put it on top and line it up oops, nicely like so right press it down open it up and press it down next one fagaloglue Line it up. So and next See how easy and quick it is and you are not fighting or scrambling to line it up. Oh, I forgot, you should check. <laughs> yeah, you see I'm not checking. Oh, uh, what am I? Ugh, never mind. But uh, when you do that, before you press it down, just check that you are lining it up. There. That's sort of right. Oh my goodness. Let me just take this one off. This is only a practice one, so it doesn't matter. Let me just take it off. And anyway, with paper, you can cover over anything. Let's just take that little bit off. It really doesn't matter. I'm just being particular now. Oh, let's try this again, shall we? So let's line it up because like I say, even though you score it and you scored straight, when you fold it, it doesn't always fold straight. Right, so that's more or less perfect. It just needs a little bit of an adjustment. And then you can press it down. So it's slightly off there, and you know what? That's okay. Let's do this one. <laughs> Let's start again. Like so. Let's press it down. Okay, this one didn't come out perfect, but I'll line it up. Go. Press it down. Yeah, I don't know why this one come out didn't come out so perfect. It's <laughs> Murphy's law. When you're doing a tutorial, it doesn't come out quite right. So I'm just going to leave that at three. I don't think you need to see me glue another one on. So there, they are straightened, and usually they do come out straight. <laughs> but just try it. But anyway, you can always cover that over with a piece of lace or paper to make it straight. This one, I don't know why. Like I say, you can see the fold is not perfect there from where I scored it. But that's okay. That's okay. So, and then, I mean, obviously you can make your this longer. Um, then you just take this bit. Let's pretend this is a page. And you glue it into your album like so. And then you ha it's it's just so much I find it so much easier okay now what I normally do because um, I'm only doing three on this I cut that bit off you can do it on your cutter too if you want there we go and then you stick it into your album or your journal stick that down and there is your little waterfall. And I normally like to put lace in between. Um, like I said, this one did not turn out as perfect as it should have. But <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. But it normally comes right, I don't know why. It's because I'm not being as careful as I normally am when I'm doing it offline, you know, always trying to do things in a hurry. So, 
very simple tutorial on how to make your waterfalls and of course this just happened to be the leftover from when I sliced it up um, but you, if you're making uh, like six or eight waterfall obviously this is going to be longer and then you just cut it cut, um, you just trim it off and glue that piece in it and that's how you do it so I hope you found this useful please let me know um, and I shall see you again soon. Ciao now. Stay well.